Hello and welcome back. I have been on holiday for a few days, and by that I mean the power was switched off so my AI wasn't operational. I have a tutorial about a tool that can help you make tutorials. This is tutorial inception if you will. Go to the edit page and drag a clip onto your timeline. Put the playhead over the clip and go to the fusion page. You should now see the fusion page with a media in and media out nodes connected. Drag two background nodes and two ellipse nodes to the node view. To stay organized, update the naming of each of these background nodes. To change the name of a node, select it and press F2, this will bring up a dialog box to enter a new name. Change as follows. Gray background. Circle color. Connect them ensuring that everything is merged as shown. With grey background selected go to the inspector and change the alpha to 0.7. Then select the connected ellipse 1 node. Tick the invert and solid tick boxes. Now go to circle color and select a color of your liking. I have selected an orange color for this demonstration. Go to the connected ellipse 2 node and untick the solid option. Then bump the border width up slightly, it doesn't need to be too much. Here I will set the value to 0.004. Go back to the ellipse 1 node. Within the inspector, right click on the center for the ellipse and click publish. This will publish the values for this element so other nodes can be connected to them. Do the same action for both width and height as shown here. Now select Ellipse 2 node again, right click on Center and choose Connect to, Ellipse 1, Center. What this does is link the center value for Ellipse 1 to the center of Ellipse 2. This effectively means that any change to one will affect the other. Now perform a similar operation for both width and height value by connecting to the published values. When I adjust the size and position you can see that both the ellipse masks follow each other. As the final part to complete this effect we need to add a transform node to allow zooming in on the center point of the circle. Select the merge node where the output is connected to media out. Press shift and space to bring up the tool selector and search for the transform tool or drag it from the toolbar and drop onto the node graph. This will add the transform tool between the final merge and the media out. With the transform tool selected, go to the inspector and find the pivot value. Right click on the pivot and select connect to ellipse 1 center. In this case the pivot position is the point where the transform will focus. For example if you use rotation the rotation will occur around that pivot point. In our case we are using the pivot point for the size, or zoom. Therefore by connecting it to the published center point of the ellipse we will always focus the zoom on the highlighted section. You can now adjust the size value to zoom in on the pivot point. Next we need to animate this on and off. We can do this with anim curves, this will be useful when we package up the effect in the next video. With the transform node still selected go to the inspector and right click on size, select modify anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab and find the anim curves modifier. From source select custom from the drop down menu. Set a keyframe for input value as zero ensuring that you are at the beginning of the composition. Move forward to frame 48 and set the value of one against input creating a keyframe. Change curve to easing and set in and out animation to quad. Then tick the mirror tick box. Change the scale to 0.3 and the offset to 1.0. When you play back the zoom animation should work at both the beginning and end of the composition because we mirrored the animation. Finally, we need to turn the graphic elements we have already created on and off at the beginning and end of the animation. Go to the gray background node and go to the inspector. Right click on the alpha channel, which we previously set to 0.7, and select modify with anim curve. Go to the modifiers tab at the top of the inspector. Under source select custom from the drop down menu. Make sure you are on frame 0 of your composition and then set a keyframe against the input value as 0. Go forward on the timeline to approx double the amount of time that you want to animate the appearance of the gray background. For this it runs at 24 frames a second, so I want the transition to be 1 second long, therefore I will set this to 48 frames. 
On frame 48 set the input value in the inspector to 1. Change the curve to easing. Then set in and out animation to expo. Then tick mirror, this will reverse the animation for you at the end of the clip automatically. This is why we set the period between keyframes to double the amount of time because the mirror function will squash the length of the animation for the purposes of mirroring it. Change the scaling to 0.7, we will use this scaling value in the next video when we set up controls for using this effect on the edit page. When you play this back you will now see that the grey background will take only one second to be fully visible. Now we need to complete a similar process but on a different element for the color circle. Go to the ellipse 2 node then go to the inspector. Find the level function and right click, then select modify with anim curves. Set the playhead to the beginning of the composition. Go to the modifier tab and find the anim curves modifier. Change source to custom. Set a keyframe against input as 0. Move forward for the desired length of the animation, taking into consideration the mirror function as previously mentioned. Here I will set the frame to 48 again. Set another keyframe here with the input value of 1. Set curve to easing. Then set in and out animation to expo. And then tick the mirror tick box. When you play this back you will now see that the circle color will animate in and then fade out again at the end. In part 2 of this I will go through the setup to make this effect available in the edit page, including making the effect dynamic according to the length of a clip on the timeline. The anim curves will help us to set up the controls. Thank you for listening, I hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe.